Hi, I'm David. Welcome to Wildlife in Focus. Identification between a great spotted woodpecker, Dendrocopos major, and a lesser spotted woodpecker, Dryobates minor, is relatively simple once you know the key features to look for on each bird. This guide will help you. The lesser spotted woodpecker is a specialist in mature woodlands and relies heavily on the presence of old, dead, and decaying trees typically found in this habitat. It can also inhabit parks and orchards, provided they have a sufficient number of aged trees. In the British Isles, its distribution is primarily limited to England and Wales, with the densest populations located in the south of England. The species is in decline, with only about 600 breeding pairs reported in the UK as of 2015. In contrast, the great spotted woodpecker thrives in broad-leaved woodlands, but has adapted to various environments. Its population is expanding across the British Isles, with an estimated 140,000 breeding pairs as of 2016. The main characteristic that sets the great spotted woodpeckers apart from the lesser spotted woodpeckers is their size. The great spotted woodpecker is similar in size to a blackbird, while the lesser spotted woodpecker is closer in size to a sparrow. As a result, identifying these two species is usually quite simple. However, confusion can occur, especially during mid to late summer, when juvenile great spotted woodpeckers may have plumage that resembles the lesser spotted woodpecker. Distinct identification markers include the arrangement of red markings and the shape and position of white markings. Both species are distinguished by their striking black and white plumage and are often seen foraging on tree trunks and branches. Let's take a closer look at each bird, starting with the lesser spotted woodpecker. The lesser spotted woodpecker is a shy bird that can occasionally be seen on the outer branches of trees while searching for food, particularly during the breeding season. At other times of the year, they prefer habitats where great spotted woodpeckers are less commonly found, such as reed beds. Additionally, they may join flocks of tit birds as they move through woodlands. This woodpecker consistently displays white feathers under its tail. It has a distinctive scruffy appearance, characterized by a black and white checkerboard pattern on its back, with no prominent white areas. Adult males have red markings on their crown and nape. Females lack any red coloration. Juveniles resemble adult males with their red crowns, but otherwise have a similar appearance. The call of the lesser spotted woodpecker is characterized by a high-pitched, shrill and repetitive key 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 or PPP sound. This call is regarded as weaker and softer compared to that of the greater spotted woodpecker. Additionally, it can occasionally be confused with the call of a kestrel. Now let's take a closer look at the great spotted woodpecker. The great spotted woodpecker is a noisy bird. You will often hear them before seeing them as they like to announce their arrival. As mentioned, they thrive in a range of habitats and are no strangers to parks and gardens visiting bird feeders. They tend to be aggressive to other birds, which generally get the message and keep well out of the way. Great spotted woodpeckers are easily identifiable due to their large white shoulder patches. Adults have striking red feathers under their tails, which become brighter in tone as the bird gets older. Male great spotted woodpeckers feature a subtle red patch on the back of their necks. Identification of great spotted woodpeckers is more complicated if the bird is juvenile due to the broad red crown and less defined patterning on their backs, which can look superficially like a male lesser spotted woodpecker. It's therefore essential to observe the distinguishing features, such as the size of the bird, the red feathers under the tail, and the white shoulder patches. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you want to see more like this. It really helps the channel.